Now, while I am in the realm of sports, let's talk about the shocker to end all shockers. One thing I saw coming, the Indianapolis Colts fired their head coach, Frank Reich. Not shocking at all. Not even a little bit. What was shocking was he hired a ESPN football analyst and Indianapolis Colts special consultant to run the team, to be the head coach, uh, Mr. Jeff Saturday. Now, coming up when I came up, you knew who Jeff Saturday was. He was the center for the Indianapolis Colts all those, all those years that they had Peyton Manning. Uh, Jeff Saturday was also a guy that was very integral in getting a um, an NFL work stoppage resolved. Jeff Saturday even got um, special commendations from Robert Kraft for his participation in getting that issue resolved. So Jeff Saturday is a well-respected figure in and around the NFL. But we couldn't let that be just an amazing story by itself. No, 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 no. We couldn't let, wow, former NFL player, former center, uh, Super, Bowl, Super Bowl winning center, got a sudden promotion thanks to Indianapolis Colts owner Jim Ursay, who's quite personable, knows Jeff well, has a personal relationship with him. No, 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 no. We can't just let that stand on where it is. If people talked about that part, you know, I can understand it. It makes a lot of sense. But us adults know, us mature adults know, that there has been a saying in business for a very long time. It's not what you know, it's who you know. So him getting this shot, considering who it is and what team it is, wasn't that damn surprising. But we, and when I mean we, I mean the woke idiots, but we just can't have something that simple be passed up by the woke idiots. Nah. They've got to jump in here with their make-believe racism. With that phantom racism. You know that boogeyman racism I, I told y'all about a few episodes back. Here we go again. His own co-workers at ESPN could not help but take little racist jabs in there and make this thing about race. Check it out. Congratulations, Jeff. I wish you the best. I believe that you are a very capable human because of your character and your personality to be in that locker room. I also believe that you have the intelligence to do the jobs. Now let's get to this. Many people are talking about race. This isn't about the race of the coaches. There were guys like Gus Bradley who are former head coaches on that staff or guys like Scotty Montgomery. So it's not about their color. This is about relationship and that does bring it to race for this reason. There isn't the representations of faces like mine of minority faces who can build the familiarity that Jim Ursay has built with Jeff Saturday. Earned with what you've earned, you're concerned with comfort. You're concerned with familiarity. And when it does come to hiring the right coach, whether it be a black coach or a white coach, it's always been about comfort. It's always been about familiarity. And this is another time that somebody has jumped the line. It ain't always nepotism. It ain't always white privilege. Sometimes it's just the wrong decision. As my boy Bernie Mac said, ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? But y'all peep that. Especially Ryan Clark, old this motherfucker. I'm telling y'all, he could find racism at a Roots party, okay? The man could find racism in Jesse Jackson's Rainbow Coalition. He is the master. That boy say, man, like Gordon Ramsay is a master chef. He is a master chef of cooking up racist bullshit. He can concoct some racism, you understand me? Because did y'all peep how Ryan Clark said, it's not about racism, yet it is about racism. What the f***? Dude, let me hit y'all with this right quick. Let me talk about racism overall. If you really want racism to stop, as I have said before, quit looking for it. Quit bringing it up. Quit making it a focal point when it's not. Seriously, go back and look. 90% of the that people call racism today isn't. At worst, it's a misunderstanding. So, stop that. Now, as it pertains to sports, hell, as it pertains to most cases of racism, it's always just one way. It is. I, I, I'm going to do a whole other segment about that. Let me say that. That's called a tease, y'all. Check out the rest of the podcast. 
I'm going to do a whole other segment about racism in sports and why it's only one way and how it's concocted 90% of the time. But getting back to the whole Jeff Saturday and his colleagues and things like that, look, congratulations, Jeff. Uh, you're a very intelligent man. I watched your career. Hell of an offensive lineman. Don't let your former colleagues who you thought were friends uh, weigh you down with this racial bullshit. And to the wonderful people at ESPN, the most woke network in sports, they used to be known as the worldwide leaders in sports. Now I want to call them the worldwide woke leaders in sports. So to y'all, shut the f*** up. Go away. Ah, Man, we going to stop it right there. You can catch the rest of that conversation on our Free Mind Thinkers podcast, which you can listen to wherever you listen to any of your favorite podcasts. We are on Amazon Music, Google Podcast, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. So give us a listen there. If you like what you heard, then tell the world. Share. Like the vid. If you have something to say, then please, we encourage everyone, drop a comment. Let us know what's on your mind. And you can find us all over social media. You can find our videos on BitChute, Odyssey, and YouTube. You can communicate with us through our various communication social media site platforms like Twitter, Rumble, Getter, Minds, Gab. Wherever you want to let your free mind thoughts flow, you'll find the free mind thinkers. Plus, we are now setting up our locals page, which will soon load exclusive content for all those that become members. So stay tuned. Things are going to get greater. Y'all take it light. Remember to listen less, learn more.